Welcome back. As we promised, we bring you this sports highlight. And the West Indies have worked out where to bowl to him, which is basically full and outside off stump. He likes it short, he likes to sit on the back foot, but when he's asked to come forward early on in his innings, his footwork can be sketchy. You can see how late he is into the ball. And uh, Devon Smith did well in the end, although he gave himself a bit of a scare. Oh, yeah! Gone on the stroke of lunch, it's bounced from Ben and he's taken the outside edge. Good work from Chris Gale, bringing Ben on just before lunch. Bell goes, England are two down and in some trouble. Quite short this, does bounce, it's out there. Big edge, good catch, never easy. Sorted that one out in a hurry. That is a gorgeous delivery. Taylor has done what every man in the West Indies wanted him to do. He has got rid of Kevin Peterson at the first attempt. A fast man, no loosener this time. Full and straight. And what a sight for the fast bowler. Everyone goes up again, and now goes to finger as well. So Andrew Strauss becomes the next man to leave the stage. He's hung in there gamely, grimly even for his nine runs. But he is now the fourth man out, and West Indies absolutely cock a hoop. It is out, it has been edged. The noise is there, Strauss knew it, everyone knew it. Fine, fine bowling from Jerome Taylor. He has three for eight now. I think it has hit the stumps. He's running, but the ball has hit the stumps. He's bowled. Well, this will give us a better idea here. Inside edge, yes, and that's why he took off. But the ball just brushed the leg stump as it went down towards fine leg. Leg bail dismissed. He realised what had taken place, or is, is he sure? He's still appealing. Bowled him all over. Five wickets for Jerome Taylor. There goes the finger action. Ball just nipping back through the gate and rocking that off stump straight out of the ground. Matt Pryor gone for none. And caught. Suleiman Ben gets his second. England are seven down. Unbelievable stuff from the West Indies. Stuart Broad can't believe it. They'll need a wheelbarrow to cart him off. He doesn't want to go. Plenty of company, as Michael Holding said. And one of those for company was at short leg, and it was the simplest chance, really. Xavier Marshall. Didn't have to move, stayed down, took the catch comfortably. And off went Suleiman Ben. Got him. Well, it nearly took the man's at uh, Gully's head off there. It's a boundary. Fine shot. Fine shot by Flintoff. Hammered through extra cover. Really a half volley and put it away really well. That's for a while longer. There he goes again. Gone one bounce to the boundary to two successive fours off Ben. England's lowest test score has been passed with that shot and so has been the 46 which they made against the West Indies in Port of Spain in 1994. Oh. Raises the 50 for England. A few rather ironic cheers from the England supporters. Cheers of relief, perhaps, that they have got to the 50. Didn't look at one stage as if they might. <laughs> and he's given him... Rudy Kurtzman has given him challenge. Once a referral. 
There's no edge, no inside edge, so all it can be is, is it going on to hit the stumps? It's hit in line. Daryl Harper has to see a definite error here. He can't go with gut feeling. He can't go with benefit of the doubt. And it's out. So Ben gets his third wicket. Side bottom loses the referral. And England are 50 for eight. Bowled in. Edwards picks up the wicket. His first of the test match. It's a big one in sprint off. West Indies are happy on the field. Just as happy off it. 51 for nine. England one wicket away from a heavy defeat. Ball back onto the stumps, that's it. He's dragged it back onto the stumps. The West Indies have won. A famous victory. All out 51 England. Suleiman Ben with his fourth wicket. It's the third lowest total by England in all test matches. And the West Indies have secured a quite magnificent and perhaps unexpected victory over England. There's a day and a half remaining in this test match. The West Indies secured a lead on first innings today of 74. It looked to be a reasonable lead, but certainly not a commanding one. And a spell of fast bowling, which would compare with any previously seen on this ground. And there have been many by Jerome Taylor, set up the West Indies for this victory. And they've completed it by dismissing England for 51. Victory for the West Indies by an innings and 23 runs.